Austin today, all across the country, thousands of women march for equal rights. Amaria Kondiff attended the Tyler Women's March at Downtown Square as hundreds gathered for gender equality. People of different races, genders, sexual orientations, religions, and ages gathered at the Women's March in Tyler with the focus on women's rights, with one law specifically in mind. At the root of the matter, SB8 is cruel. It's racist. It's discriminatory. The passing of Senate Bill 8 hit home for some. At 14 years old to say, you know what? I'm not ready yet. I didn't know I was pregnant at six weeks. I didn't know. And a lot of the women that are, they don't know. Deanna Hardin believes women's rights and human rights are connected. And when you take away my right to choose, you also take away our right to uh, preserve the, the essence of our community by making sure that everyone has access to the health care, the supportive housing, the safe food and the clean air that they deserve, right? Speakers and organizers of today's march wanted to remind people that protesting spreads awareness, but the real change happens at the polls. We hold the power. We just have to get our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, our best friends, our the men that we have birthed, the men that we have married, our brothers to the polls, and let's get women elected. We've got you covered, East Texas. Mariah Condiff, CBS 19. All right, Mariah, thank you so much. Well, this is the second March for Women's Rights in Tyler in the past month. The first one was in early September following the passing of Senate Bill 8. It was also the only women's march in the state at the time.